Hello guys, I am Val and today I want to talk about the skin texture. I actually saw a video from Sof and um, this actually inspired me to create a bit of the video explaining a couple of things that I've been personally wanting to show instead of blurring things. So let's keep on going. So why the topic of skin texture actually touches me so much. First of all, it's been a huge thing for me as a teenager um, about discoloration and about the texture of my face. As you can see, I have pretty deep set eyes and my skull texture is very not, not smooth. Like you can see where the skull actually is, where the hollows are. And because of that, I was really, really concerned about my face as a teen. I did not have any big troubles with my pimples. Right now you still see like these small things that appear. Uh, they've been um, from time to time they do appear, uh, sometimes it's just that time of the month. They don't concern me too much. This, however, is a reaction to acids, uh, specifically to the glycolic acid that I've tried from Pixie Glow Tonic and Hyaluronic Acid that I cannot consume right now anymore. I know there is a two week period where your skin just needs to adjust, but I'm a picker and I will pick everything on my face if I see it. So it's easier for me just not to use these kind of things. So getting back to the topic, I've seen a lot of people with absolutely beautiful skin when I was a teenager. That was more than 10 years ago, just for the, for the record. And I always wanted to like cover my under eye areas and maybe do some operation or something or filler that will actually give my face that proper smooth look, which I never really had and I'm not gonna ever have it. And this is not supposed to be like that. I don't think that any girl should be so concerned about her face. Uh, we don't choose our appearances. We can only make them better or worse, depending on conditions. But you don't choose what you get born with. You can fix things with surgeries, yes, of course. It is a solution, but I find it best to actually try to accept yourself and to try to be in the state of peace with your mind and your body and your face because then it's the best thing skin changes we can get pimples we can get wrinkles we can get more oily less oily skin type changes throughout the life as well um, my skin type changed actually um, i had oily to normal skin now i have dry to normal skin and i have little wrinkles because we age it's normal it's totally okay to have and um, sometimes it's not hydrated properly, maybe something else, maybe you had some exfoliation, maybe you used retinol, then you have some flakes on the skin, or maybe your skin is dehydrated, that's why when you put on makeup you have flakes on your skin. It's just these things that people are concerned about. If your makeup looks from one meter away normally, nobody will look that close into you and just see what you see in the mirror being so close to the mirror because it does not matter for them and it should not matter for them. All of the things that we are concerned with are our own concerns and others just don't see it in most cases, which is sometimes not a thing, but in most cases it is. Beauty lighting, things with the YouTubers and Instagrammers and all other people who post, not only they are filtered by <laughs> crazy amount of blurring stuff, you can literally see the blurring filter when it is happening, especially if you pay attention to it. But the, the cameras and the stuff itself, it's made so you, you like yourself more. Um, iPhone cameras, the front cameras are usually mirrored because we like ourselves in mirrors more than in the regular way of view, let's say as well as tons of blurring opportunities, beautifying conditions, configurations, whatever. By default, the camera like Canon or Nikon or whatever also don't uh, expose a lot of texture. And soft boxes, they are called soft because of the soft light. They're making skin a bit more blurred and a bit more smooth to look at. That is why basically you don't see a lot of pores and things going on on people. That's why, for example, uh, what was her name? Meredith, I believe. She's doing a lot, like tons of foundation on her face. 
and the nose scrunches and she does not seem to have like creases of that. Actually she's supposed to have creases anyway of the makeup. There is some filtering and there is some camera configuration that actually just hides that from the view. And the ring light is one of the beauty lights for a reason as well. It smooths out the skin completely. So any soft light, anything that is ring light, everything will soften you. I've been searching for this current setup for pff, more than 20 years because I needed to find the proper solutions uh, to uh, save some money for the proper equipment and stuff like that. Um, this is video light and that is a big uh, strobe light, continuous light actually, which is harsh. I'm not having a softbox on it. And harsh light is almost the same as a daylight. That's why when you're in the chair of a makeup artist on the soft boxes and then you go out in the sun and you see yourself and you are getting scared because it's not looking as it's supposed to, that is the reason. The soft light hides a lot of things. Camera also eats a lot of color. So the configuration of the camera is supposed to be very specific to show uh, true tone colors and I have like color cards and things so I can just configure things better to show the true color because I want to show the eye looks and uh, body paint in the way that I see it with my eyes. Of course it's not going to be 100% but that's something that I really really wanted to have and the harsh light as well that allows me to see the imperfections that I notice. So this this picture that you're seeing right now, it is for me because I wanted to perfect some lighting and some things. And this is just what I prefer to have. In a different light, it's going to be different. If you have light higher on your face, it will show different things. So I'm just covering a bit and you see some other maybe areas. Most of the beauty gurus have soft lights. Soft lights because it makes things beautiful. It makes things very pretty and that's why it's recommended to have a ring light or a diva ring light or whatever because it makes you more smooth on the camera. My camera is configured for texture. I set this as a user-defined style. My camera is configured with the hard light because that's how I wanted things to be. And if you feel like your skin is not good enough. That's not true. Your skin is a skin. We are all human. Having wrinkles, having flakes, having these things is normal. And I don't think anyone should be ashamed of how they look without makeup. It's a very big topic for post-USSR countries specifically, where I come from. It was a thing when you don't go out into the store without wearing makeup, because you may meet people and they may be surprised to see you without makeup. And um, maybe because you are insecure about yourself. And throughout my teen years, I've been insecure about myself, especially about the lines that you see and some pores and texture. And I don't want anyone to feel like that, really. It's, it's not okay. You should be able to pursue yourself without makeup normally, because that's how you look, because there is nothing wrong with that. It's just something that I wanted to hop on and talk about, I guess. And I'm not even doing my makeup as I planned, uh, but this video is something that is important as a topic for myself because it triggered some memories for me. And uh, so hopefully my rant was okay for you. And thanks so much for watching this and see you in the next uh, better type of video. Bye.